What's up everyone? Uh, today's lesson is based on AngularJS, uh, um, Ajax and Oracle 12C database. So what we are going to do, we are just going to retrieve data from Oracle database using one, uh, there is a module called getoraclededata.jsp which is actually retrieving data from Oracle and it is generating one array of data in JSON format. So this is the code. I am not going to explain this code. So this code will be, uh, I'll just give you the link. You can follow and go through this code. And I'll also show you uh, for a verification whether is this data is retrieving data or not. So let us just uh, go to our URL and type just a moment. So this is the data. See uh, what is the this is the Oracle underscore get underscore Oracle underscore data dot JSP and the parameters is SQL STR okay it's the parameter and parameter value is select name code emp name this is the exact parameter which we are going to use in our program so let us press enter and see so this is the data you can see the data has been retrieved and this is our database okay this is oracle 12c 12.1.0.2.0 okay and SID is WordSeal and this uh, and IP address is 109 and I am using here Apache Tomcat uh, 7.0 and Java uh, JDK 1.6 so this is uh, the output and if you see the view so sorry you can see the view source okay this is the total JSON data which will be retrieved now we will move to our angular JS program so this is our primary, I have just set up a little bit where is HTML and I have just included a script source that is angular.main.js compact angular.js and this is the script section where we will start our script okay so let us first do one thing in the HTML section as you know there should be an ng app and I just put its app app equal to angular dot module this is the same app app dot controller my ctrl and there is a callback function which will actually take two parameters if you learn a bit about HTTP GET method, okay. So in this controller, we invoke the GET method from HTTP dot GET, and let us just uh, take this one. Okay, so we just copy this and paste it here. Oh, just we'll need to make some a few changes just put a double quote here okay so you have to remove all this spaces here just a moment okay so, so just next uh, bring it in a clear proper format Okay, so 
get is called with the uh, oracle data jsp and parameter sk list here and if success then callback function response just will declare a variable scope dot my data into response okay okay so there's a response and you can also put an error I'll just do nothing now here I okay, just put it here so this is the get method I've done with this and right now it is okay now we'll just go to our body just click little ng controller you know as you can know what is name of our ng controller is myctrl okay so in this myctrl we'll just first we will just uh, put one input type this will be a search string type text uh, name text name search field and there will be ng model which will be also search field and value is okay so just give a big big statement here now we we'll start our table section where we will populate our data first there will be a table header th h ref will be blank ng click ok we will use ng click which will cast that click, click event mouse click event sort field equal to emp code ok so i will just uh, come to this declaration section later on ok so what is why we, what is sort field um, ok now sort field ok sort field emp code and reverse equal to sorry reverse equal to not reverse <coughs> so this will be in this will be code just copy this and paste it this will be emp name date of birth so this is a table header section I'll explain this uh, uh, just a little later this table row and in table row you have in one ng repeat data in what is our name this is the name is the Okay, it's my date, not my date, my data. So this scope dot my data, this my data will be here. My data. Filter. Sort field. Sorry. Filter sort field. And order by. Okay, filter not sort field, filter is search field and order by sort field reverse. Okay, so this are ng repeat and inside this there is td first one is data dot emp code.
just copy this and paste it okay so we are just completed now let, let me explain something first is we will declare one variable here scope dot reverse equal to true so reverse is a uh, boolean variable and inside this thing whenever someone click on this header suppose uh, this code okay sorry just change me the name name and let us make a dob date of birth so okay, whenever somebody click here so reverse just get inversed so when it is true it gets false when it is false it gets true and this is a sort field now we just take one variable okay sort field and we just whenever somebody click on code the sort field becomes emp code emp underscore somebody click on name the sort field become emp underscore name somebody click on date of birth dob the sort field become date of birth date of birth and here you see in the order by we have put this variable sort field so this sort field whenever somebody click on emp underscore code this sort field order by becomes emp underscore code somebody click on name order by becomes emp underscore name somebody click on dob order by becomes in date of birth okay and this reverse so this actually this is piped and this value becomes true if it is true it is sorted in ascending order if it is false then so so what happens when you click on code okay so first time it is uh, initially it is true here okay so now when you click it becomes uh, uh, first initially the data comes in ascending order and whenever you click on this this is reversed and this, this become false when this reverse value become false it uh, just uh, reversed okay it is sorted in descending order so okay so and the so, so whenever you click on code it becomes ordered by emp underscore code false so it in reverse order whenever you click on name and again the reverse it is reversed okay uh, the value of the values become false again true so this is what ng click does so we have not put a h we have put is blank and this one is this the ng this is the the search field okay ng model search field so filter by search field so whenever we filter by search field whatever you type in this uh, search field okay the, the data is sorted in task order so let us go to the uh, our web page and see what is the output comes so here we are so we will just get employee it's already here so, so as you can see uh, this is our apache server and uh, that uh, domain is localhost 8080 and it is under folder ang and the name of the file is get employee data dot html so let us run it okay so you can see uh, and now see uh, you can just search with any data say we say type x so all the see it is filtered with all only x data okay now suppose we sorted with null so only the null will the data birth will come so it is searching all the three fields okay so if you go say 136 see only the first records come okay so whatever you search, you, you search with 1965. So see all the year with 1965. So it uh, search the entire pattern. You search all the table TD values. Okay, and give the result. So the next one is sorting. Okay, whenever I click on code, see it is being toggled, 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 and toggled. Okay, it depends on the reverse values uh, reversed. It's become true, then false, then true, then false, and the sorting is on that order. The, the same with the name, and same with the data path. Okay, so now uh, let us go to, to through this again. First, you have ng app equal to app, 
and this is our script source that is ajax ajax dot google apis dot com ajax lips angular js 1.2.6 and angular dot mean dot js now we declare a model we take one variable app app okay we didn't make it var so it becomes a global you can also declare it as a var to make it a local variable app dot controller my con my ctrl is just controller name and there is two variable one is scope another is any as you know the scope is the ng app uh, sorry scope is the my ctrl so the head the body become the scope if you if you Take this ng controller and put it in the table. So scope is mm, comes within the table. Then your the search field and all this outside the table will not work. You can also put a divider inside it uh, if you want to don't want to keep it inside the body in the body. So you can put a divider div element and put the ng controller into that. So that becomes the scope. So and the HTTP object which has a, which actually invokes the function get and this is a URL with the parameter. Okay, so if the if the, the get succeeded, so the success function callback function is invoked and we assign the response object to the EMP data, which is our uh, local variable within the scope, and this is a reverse boolean variable which is set to true. So this my data is been called here. You can see data in M. Sorry, this M data has been called in. Here in this TR section, NGRP with the NGRP data in EMP data, and filter is the search field, as you can see, and order by is sort field, which depends on which item, which header you click, header column, column header you click. So this is all about this tutorial, and I hope you like the like this, and if you. And if you have any doubt regarding any of this section, do if you don't understand, do comment on my section. Okay, you can also mail me anytime. Okay, so that's all about this video. Do please press the like button if you like the video. You can subscribe to my channel. This is a CBH or RO one nine zero seven seven six. Thank you.